Hello there, audience. <laughs> A seven foot Sasquatch here with our third episode of Minecraft tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you the XOR gate, but I don't like to call it that, so I'm just going to call it the double switch system because, well, I, I don't know. I don't like XOR gate. It's weird. <laughs> if you don't know what this does, what it does for you is it allows you to use two switches for the same purpose. Open the door, walk through, close the door, and there you go. That's what that does. I know that before I could do this, I always found myself wanting two switches for the same thing. And it irritated me how I couldn't do that. And so I'm making this video to help out you people out there who might be having my same issue. <laughs> so this is basically what you're going to need. You're going to need seven torches, obviously six for these, and then there's one that goes down below the door to invert the signal. You're going to need redstone, which 46 for me should do it, but you might need a little bit more, a little bit less. Kind of depends on like what your size is. Is these three right here, they're the minimum distance apart from each other before they'd start interfering. <laughs> before the red notes start connecting with it with each other and interfering. The ones that are gonna be the different length though are most likely gonna be the lines that lead to the switches. But we'll get into that in a second. And yeah, that's basically all you're gonna need. Two switches, some redstone, some torches and a door. That's pretty much it for this. It's pretty easy. Well, easy in the sense you don't have to go looking for all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so, first of all, let's place our conduit blocks, as I like to call them, which are the blocks with the torches on them. Start with the single one on the back, put it down, and then you're going to count out three steps. One, two, three. And then count out from your to your left and your right, count out two more. One, two, and go back over here. One, two, and that's how you put those down. Go ahead and slap some torches. One on the top and one facing forward. Top, forward, top, forward. And now, what we're going to do is we are going to connect these three little uh, conduits together. <coughs> so first, lean a line, lead a line straight out from the back one over there and connect to both of these blocks so the two outside ones turn off like they are right here. <coughs> and now lead your other two lines leading from the left and the right of your back block out a little ways. These are the lines that are going to connect to wherever your switches happen to be which in this case over here was just immediately beside the door but these would lead out as far as you need them to reach your switch. But the thing about these is you have to have them straight for at least like two or three blocks because you're going to do this. You're going to connect from the back of the conduit block to these uh, the switch lines right here. So it's like that. And so for this case, I am not going to make the lines too terribly long. So I'm going to put that switch right there and the switch right here because this isn't actually installed into anything <laughs> if you want to see a good example of this real quick my tower uses this this whole system is underneath the ground there's a switch inside this little uh, housing right here and there's a switch right inside the door <laughs> that's kind of like a use you would use I just did that for the sake of doing it that's the only purpose it's on my tower <laughs> um, and now, what we're going to do is we're going to lead lines from the front of the two conduit blocks in the front right here. Go one, one, and then connect them up like that. And then lead, now they're going to lead out from those two, they're going to connect up and lead out into a single line. Now this is where you're going to connect it to your door. So first, find a place for your door. Let me dig out the sand a little bit first. It's kind of hard to work with the sand. So I'm going to put my door here. And now we're going to dig 
into the ground because we're going to need this into the ground, obviously. Uh, okay, I need to put that one there. This is always an adventure every single time I go down to do this. <laughs> every time it's an, a new adventure. Uh, what you're going to do though is you're not going to put the torch directly below it like that. You're not going to do that. What you're going to do is you're going to try to put it on a block beside where you want to put it. See how that torch right there is at an angle but it still interacts with the door? That's what you want. And then dig that out a little bit and connect this line with that block right there. And now if I did everything properly we should have a working door. So that switch closes it then I can go inside my secret base and I can open it back up. That's what you do. And of course, you don't have to use this for just a door. You don't have to have just a boring old iron door sitting right there. You can use pistons, which I will show you real quick. I can put a piston right there. You can see that the piston activates. You can use it with pistons. Basically anything that interacts with the redstone, you can use it for. And this is one of those things where you see people making secret doors. They can open it up from the outside somewhere. They walk inside and then they close it on the inside. This is what you need to do to get the two switches for the inside and the outside. So I'll give you guys a quick overview. So if you want to, you can pause the video and try to like copy it. And that's, that's basically what I did when I built this. I watched somebody's video and I made a copy of it on my world, like over there. And I just, whenever I needed to use it, I just walk over there and look at it and copy it. That's all you do. So, drop a, <coughs> drop a comment on something you would like to see a co um, tutorial on. <laughs> drop a comment on something you'd like to see a tutorial on. Like the video if you thought it was pretty informational. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. And be sure that... I haven't said this before, but if you guys are having trouble with your redstone wiring, go ahead and contact me on my gamer tag, which is a 7 foot Sasquatch. And if you're playing the Xbox version, I can jump into your game and I can try to help you out if you're not quite getting this to work on one of your games. Or any other thing that you've seen on this channel. So, if you guys ever need help, I'm only a message away. So, I've lost my mouse. There we go. Alright guys, I will catch you later.